everybody, JC here from Toy News International and MarvelousNews.com. And for today's video, I wanted to do something kind of cool. I actually have two purposes with today's video. So the first thing is, by now you've probably seen the new images that were released by the folks at ToyPeople.com. They're a website in Taiwan, and they got their hands on the new upcoming X-Men Legends wave from Hasbro and released some really nice pictures. So I thought it would be cool if we got a look at those new figures that are coming out with the old Toy Biz counterparts. Each of these X-Men figures that are in this wave have had Toy Biz counterparts. And so what I've done is I've done a little Photoshopping using some of their images that they released with some images I've taken of the older Toy Biz figures and just to give you a comparison of the two. So this is not going to be for size comparison but just to give you a look at the two different figures, the older and the newer, just to kind of give you, I thought it would be fun to, to give, give a look and share some thoughts, my thoughts about, about each one. Now the other thing I wanted to do with this, and this is going to be kind of an exclusive reveal, is my friend Edgar from Geekbase which is also a website in Taiwan, sent me an image, and this is an exclusive reveal, thanks to him, of how the Magneto-style Onslaught head that comes with the Kitty Pride figure in this wave looks on the red Onslaught Builder figure that has already been released by Hasbro in the previous Captain America Legends wave. So you're going to get a first look at that Onslaught, basically the classic Onslaught, body with the classic Onslaught Magneto style head. But before we get to that, let's first again take a look at the old Toy Biz X-Men figures with their new Hasbro counterparts. And we'll start off with the one that everyone I think is most excited about and that's Rogue. And definitely I think this Hasbro one is a vast improvement over the old Toy Biz one. This Toy Biz one suffered from a very ugly face sculpt. Toy Biz always seem to have problem with their female figures as far as the face sculpts go, but this one was probably by far the worst. And so I definitely like the new head sculpt on this new Hasbro version. Both have jackets. Now I will say that the Toy Biz one, the jacket is removable, so it looks like on the Hasbro one, the, the arms of the jacket are sculpted on there, so it, basically the jacket is not removable on the on the Hasbro one. So that's probably the one advantage that the Toy Biz has over the Hasbro. But honestly, I, I don't think that's a big deal. So moving on, uh, Brown Costume Wolverine. Now this one, I actually kind of give, at least based on the images, I, I kind of give it to Toy Biz. Um, I think the colors are a little more true. The lighter brown is what I recall the costume being as opposed to the darker brown seen on the Hasbro one. So I, I don't. I also like. I mean, he had it both ways in the comics. He had it with the X on the belt, and he had it without the X on the belt. But I kind of always prefer it with the X, just to give him that X Men uh, affiliation. So I like the X on the belt better than just the regular belt buckle. So I kind of like the old Toy Biz one a little bit better than than the Hasbro one. Not that the Hasbro one's bad. I also like the facial expression better on the Toy Biz one. I like the kind of growling, snarling look. It's more of a Wolverine look than almost looks like he's kind of smiling on the Hasbro one. So next up, we'll look at Kitty Pride. So Hasbro definitely wins on the Kitty Pride again. The Toy Biz one suffered from a pretty ugly looking face sculpt. Never really liked that face sculpt. So the Hasbro face sculpt is definitely an improvement. I like the look of the belt better. Both have X's, but I like the red with the black. The one on the Toy Biz one was just kind of yellow. And then I also like the fact that both came with Lockheed Drag her Lockheed Dragon, but on the Toy Biz one, you could just, it came with a little clamp and you just uh, put it on her wrist. I like the fact that they've made it, it looks like they've made it so you can actually put Lockheed on her shoulder, which is where you would usually see him. You can put it on her wrist as well. Basically, it looks like the tail kind of wraps around and secures it. But I like the fact that they made it so that you could put Lockheed on her shoulder and not just on her wrist. Next up, we've got... Phoenix slash Jean Grey. So again, I think the Hasbro, I, I don't really like the face sculpt on either of these to be honest with you, um, but I guess between the two the Hasbro one is a little bit better, but neither one I think is terribly uh, decent. I, I, the area I would give the Toy Biz one is that I like the fact that the Toy Biz one comes with that Phoenix effect stand 
this uh, new Hasbro one basically has no accessories other than the, the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure piece. So in that regard, uh, I, I think the Toy Biz one was a little superior. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this version of Jean Grey. I would have rather seen a more modern, like maybe an all-new X-Men version of Jean Grey or something, as opposed to this Phoenix one uh, redone again. Iceman. So Iceman, again, is kind of, I would say, is a toss-up between the two. The old Toy Biz one is much more of a classic Iceman look, you know, kind of like you'd see on the Spider-Man and Friends uh, cartoon. The, the newer one is kind of more modern. He's got the icicle sculpted on him. I also like the more clear effect that they use on this new Iceman as opposed to the frosted effect on the Toy Biz one. The Toy Biz one also kind of suffered from the big uh, shoulders like we see a lot of the older Toy Biz. But the biggest thing I, I'm disappointed with on the Hasbro one is that they did not include any kind of ice effects. Again, this figure has no accessories other than the build a figure piece so I thought it was a missed opportunity to give him some kind of shooting ice effects or an ice slide or something along those lines I think would have made this figure a lot better. Havoc, both uh, these figures are a toss up as in I think both figures are good so these aren't exact figures. To, um, the Toy Biz one is based on his, his original classic costume and then the Hasbro one is based on a more modern costume. It's not the most modern that he's worn but, but it's definitely a little more modern than the, than the Toy Biz one which was essentially his original costume. So the big difference between the two is the headpiece. The, the white things uh, stick out on the old, old version and then on the new version they're basically part of the, the helmet or mask that he wears. So I think both figure look look pretty good. I, I kind of prefer the modern look over the classic look. And then the Hasbro one does have some blast effects which I, I think are co cool. So uh, and it looks like it at least based on the images that you can actually attach his, uh, one of the blast effects to his chest somehow. So I think that's kind of cool. And then of course you can attach it to his hands so it looks like he's shooting out his Havoc effect. Deadpool so both figures were good. The Deadpool figure was great for its time. The biggest problem I have with the Toy Biz Deadpool is just this, again, suffers from those really big uh, shoulder joints. So I always kind of threw off the look of the figure. But both were chocked with lots of weapons. I, you know, I, again, I like the more sleek look on the, on the, on the new version. I like the, the pat, you know, the, shin guards on the on the new version so definitely I think this is uh, an improvement over the original Toy Biz but not to slight the Toy Biz one because that was really an awesome figure for its time Cable so Cable here I'm gonna give to uh, Toy Biz not that I think that the new one is that bad and where the new one kinda maybe wins and I since I don't have these in hand yet I, I can't say for sure but I'm guessing the Hasbro one's probably gonna be a little bit taller than the old one but otherwise, I like the look of the old Toy Biz, specifically the one with the yellow and blue. They did two, basically, there was two different versions Toy Biz did. One was a variant with the more classic look of the blue outfit um, that he originally wore in the comics. Both came with that big shoulder pad piece, which I never liked. You know, that Rob Leefield sh big shoulder pad piece, which, again, I never really liked for the character. But that was removable. But definitely the, the blue and yellow, which was kind of more of an X-Men outfit, was my favorite with the X-Men symbols on his chest and his belt. So that one, to me, is, is my favorite cable and, and still remains so. Okay, so that leaves everything but the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure. So Juggernaut here is, again, kind of a toss-up. So again, I'm guessing the Hasbro version is bigger, but... Probably not as big as the Diamond Select version, which I actually don't have, but I've heard a lot of you say that you think that one is, is the best Juggernaut to date. So I'm going to take your word on that. But between these two, I, I kind of have, uh, both have positives and negatives. So the biggest positive on the Toy Biz one, I think, is the fact that the helmet was removable. And it was really nicely detailed and everything. So that is kind of a big advantage for the Toy Biz one. The Toy Biz one overall, I think, probably has a little better paint applications as well. I like the, the pieces that are sculpted with the metal uh, 
wash work around his head and stuff on the Toy Biz one, which you don't have on the on the new Hasbro version. I, I do kind of like the belt on the new Hasbro version, and I like the helmet better on the Hasbro version. I like the divots and everything in the, on the sculpting on the new helmet as opposed to the classic one. So I think Hasbro wins in that regard. I also like the cracked tooth that Hasbro gave him. Um, he had some pretty nicely sculpted teeth on the Toy Biz one, but I like the cracked tooth as a, as a nice added touch on the new version so again I kind of put these up as a toss-up and figuring that the new one is going to be a little bit bigger than the than the old Toy Biz one that that definitely maybe sways the the Hasbro one a little bit in in my favor but the classic one is still a great figure in my opinion and I love the fact that you know I love that Kmart go ahead on, on the classic version okay so now the big reveal so as I said this is our first look at the classic Magneto style onslaught head that will be packaged with the Kitty Pride figure on that red onslaught body so here's a comparison between the Hasbro version with the red skull head and then our look at the new one with the Magneto head so again these are these are two different pictures the the red color should be I know it looks a little darker on the on the Magneto version but it's the same figure it's just a little bit different lighting between the two two pictures but but the big thing is the head and definitely I think the head looks pretty good I prefer the the Magneto head much more than the Red Skull head and then here's a comparison with the old Toy Biz version which was a great figure as far as sculpting and detail and everything I just never liked that version of Onslaught you know it is how he looked in the comics when he when he took on that shape but it was just not my preferred version of Onslaught this this more classic look is the one I've always liked the best and always wish that Toy Biz had done and and didn't so um, definitely uh, I'm going to give it to Hasbro just because of, of of being the classic version okay so that wraps it up so I, I hope you enjoyed this look at, at the X-Men figures the new and the old plus the first look at the Onslaught with the Magneto head I'll have um, links to both toypeople.com who, who provided the image of the new X-Men figures for you to enjoy. Also, I'll have links to Marvelous News where you can check out some more comparisons and a, and a more high-res version of this uh, new Onslaught head, thanks to my friend Edgar. And I'll also put a link to his uh, site, geekbase.com, which you can check out. Again, that's another website in Taiwan, so it's going to be in a foreign language and everything. But if you want, be sure to check it out. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.